Hello world, my name is Moho Jishpande, and this is Swift for Beginners. So, before we actually get started, we have to download and install Xcode. And what Xcode is, is it's the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, that allows us to build Swift, iOS, Mac OS X applications. So this is why you need a Mac. You're going to open up the App Store, and in the search bar, type in Xcode. and you're going to download and install Xcode and it's kind of a hefty file I think it's around 5 or five gigabytes or so so you're going to download it and it'll install that now at the time of recording this video uh, the newest version of Xcode was still in beta so in order to go into and install the um, the beta versions of Xcode you're going to have to go to developer.apple.com uh, over here we'll say uh, download the latest development tools and SDKs iOS apps and for this though you will need you will need an iOS developer license in order to get access to the uh, betas for iOS 8 as well as Xcode so here is where you would select download Xcode 6 beta and then it would download as a dot a disk image file and then you would open up the disk image, drag and drop, and it would go ahead and install all the SDKs. So now that all of that is installed, we want to actually open up Xcode, and you should get this kind of starting menu. And what we're going to do is, instead of creating a new project, we're going to get started with a playground. So what a playground is, I'll explain it real quick, is a playground is sort of like this live editing of code, kind of like this live coding deal, where you would type in a line of code and on a right hand pane it would display you the results of what you just typed immediately. So really for this whole Swift for Beginners course, we're primarily going to be using playgrounds and running our application through those playgrounds. So I'm just going to call this Swift for Beginners, hit create. and you can see it's created the playground and over here it'll I declared a variable and we'll get to all this in a minute and you can see the results of it immediately on the right hand pane so really this is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our Swift for beginner course it's through this playground feature so I will see you all in the next video